I've always loved. Star, darling. Square your shoulders. Hand on your hip. Eyebrow cocked. Yes. Perfect. My heart is all a flutter. Two outfits remain. I can't wait to see what you'll bring me. Something shocking, I hope. Goodness, look at those atrocious contours. The sheer brutality of its design offends the senses and shocks the mind into a state of palpable excitement. I adore it! One outfit left. Do hurry, my dear. The bird of inspiration is about to take flight. I've always loved. I love Byzantium. Oh, how grotesque. I always suspected the dramas did no justice to real marauders. Their armor is so much more hideous in person. Yes, that's it. I have it. I know exactly what we're doing. Brace yourself, my dear. We're going to call this style Barbarian Chic. The saucy confidence of a spacer. The raw contempt of an iconoclast, the brutish musk of a marauder, and the pièce de résistance, monster leather. One part manticling chitin, three parts high from a raptodon's flank, and let's say, oh, eight strips of primal leather. No, they got ten. We're revolutionizing the fashion of Byzantium. Our work is anything but simple. I love the way you just smolder with contempt. It makes me want to spoil you. Here, treat yourself to a nice new gun or something. Get this done for me, and I'll have you strutting about in a Jolicoeur original. You will be the envy of Byzantium.
I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing. You look like a... You look like a man. Not today, Sam. Destination reached. Scylla. On standby for command.
Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. What can I do for you, darling? I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit. Chimera. Crafted from the hides of three species of monster. While you were gone, I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels. Solid gold. Diamond encrusted. If it doesn't have one of my lapels, it's not a Jolicar original. Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Be a dear and retrieve it for me. Understatement of the year, darling. Believe me, I'm every bit as frustrated as you are. Wonderful! I'm giving you authorization to retrieve this parcel on my behalf. You truly are my savior, darling. I've always loved you. Like your food, right oh, for the good old days when you could simply ask. Well, you're getting an early start on the day's parcels, aren't you? Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. If you would like to sign for a parcel, please go to window B. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service, where all parcels are guaranteed to be delivered with an acceptable margins of certainty. How may I be of assistance? <sighs> Let me just look that up for you.
It appears that a parcel for Ms. Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is currently out for delivery. It was, and now it's being delivered. Let me see here. A parcel for Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is being delivered to 316 Rockwell in the Byzantium Estates. Thank you for allowing HPS to be your only option today. Technician and them. Halcyon Parcel Service is proud to be the colony's only parcel delivery service. How may I be of assistance? I must respectfully ask that you calm down, please. Parcels must be picked up at window A. Maintaining proper window structure is imperative to the smooth operation of HPS. If you would like to lodge a complaint about the quality of your service, please request a complaint form at window C. If you would like to request a complaint form at window C, please make an appointment. I see you're familiar with our company policy. How may I be of assistance? Of course, if you could just verify for me that you are Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste, or an officially authorized proxy. Yes, I can see by your eccentric mode of dress that you must be one of Ms. Jolicoeur's associates. Everything seems to be in order. Here you are, one parcel. I hope this has been a pleasant and satisfying transaction. Halcyon Parcel Service thanks you for your patronage. You mean Ms. Jolie Kerr? She was reported for practicing a subversive aesthetic. We found her in her office, working on something perverse. She didn't cooperate, so we had to put her down. Never took her for a dissident sympathizer. Byzantium security regrets any disruption to regular flow of commerce. However, Cultural and moral hygiene must always be maintained. Byzantium cultural standards are enforced by Universal Defense Logistics. Universal Defense Logistics, your first and last line of defense in the war against sedition.
Welcome aboard, Captain. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. We'll be here, Captain. I'll bet. Been one too many times, huh? Well, give me that caffeinoid so I can shoot straight. We'll hit the trail. Suppose drinking on the trail is better than drinking on this here stool. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Mighty big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Yasuka. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Captain, let's talk. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Next time we're in the Monarch Wilderness, I'd like to stop in on an old friend of mine. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But for this, I need help. Logistically, because it's dangerous. Emotionally, because it's dangerous. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I've buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. I says, fine, I'll 
pay you back for all of it. With interest. Nice one. You must have had them quaking on their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make them feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. <laughs>